am going to create a new store on Etsy from scratch and try to take it from zero to a star seller in less than a month. And I plan to make this happen using data and AI. Hi. My name is Yorgos and this is the first video for project 1984. The goal of this project is simple, turn $10,000 into $10 million using data and artificial intelligence. We're going to use data and AI to understand, create and invest in the world of business and finance. And in the spirit of social entrepreneurship inspired by our favorite Mr. Beast, 50% of the profits are going to be shared with the community along the way. This means you people. Worst case scenario, you can watch me lose all my money and run this project to the ground, which you may or may not find entertaining. You seek fun. Before we open our Etsy store, we first need to find a product to sell. After digging around for the best selling products on Etsy, I came across a specific category which I think is ideal for beginners such as myself printables or digital downloads. These are digital products that people can buy and simply print at home. This means that you can start your store almost instantly with minimal to no expenses. You do not have to maintain an inventory and you do not have to ship any physical product. It's perfect for passive income and extremely easy to get started with. In other words, it has a very low barrier of entry, which also means a lot of competition. But this does not scare me for a second because you see, we have a secret weapon, data and AI. A simple search for printables on Etsy will return a lot of different products like planners, calendars, stickers, wedding invitation, greeting cards. But which one should we focus on selling? To make an educated decision, I wrote a script using Etsy's developer API that analyzed the top 100 products from 25 of the most popular stores in the printables niche. And what I found really surprised me. As it turns out, there is good money to be made in this niche. Like, really good money. On average, these 25 stores made $750,000 from their sales. The top selling store made an astounding $4.5 million just for selling printable products, which is mind blowing. I also noticed that the top five stores with the most revenue sell their products for an average price of $11, whereas the bottom five stores sell their products for an average price of $2, which is a significant difference. So what's going on here? My best guess is that these stores are still at a relatively early stage and are trying to get noticed. That's why they try to undercut the competition by having extremely low prices for their product, which I believe is something we should be doing for our own products as well, at least in the beginning. Okay, so we know there's a lot of money to be made in printables, but which product do they sell the most? To find out, I used my code again to discover the most popular product categories based on the 2500 best-selling products from the stores we analyzed before. As it turns out, the most popular category in this niche is calendars and planners. So this is where I focused on. On the 17th of December, I created my store, but I still had no products to sell. While searching for specific products in the calendars and planners subcategory on Google Trends, I discovered that the search for printable calendar usually picked between December 5th and January 3rd, which meant I still had time to take advantage of this seasonal interest in calendars. So naturally, printable calendars are going to be my first products. Remember that the challenge is to become a star seller in less than a month. Becoming a star seller is very important in my eyes because it will significantly improve the credibility of my store, which in turn will help increase my sales in the long term. To become a star seller, you need at least 95% response rate in incoming messages from customers, an average review rating of 4.8 stars, at least 5 orders in the last 3 months, and at least $300 in sales in the past 3 months as well. But if I were to become a star seller this quickly, I needed a killer product fast. I designed a couple of calendar templates in Photoshop, but I also wanted to illustrate them to make them stand out from the competition. Time is of the essence, so to illustrate these calendars, I use AI tools like Stable and Disco Diffusion. My first calendar was all about cats. I'm sure there's an abundance of cat lovers on Etsy, which made this choice a no-brainer. 
Etsy suggests having at least 10 products ready before listing anything on your store and promoting your store, but I chose to ignore that advice. I got my first product out even before probably setting up my store, and that was the right choice, but I'll get to that later. In the next three days, I created my store brand, as well as a second calendar with dogs this time. Now with a decent logo and two cool looking calendars, I was feeling ready to take on the entire printables niche. To get my first customers, I had to use Etsy's advertising program where I spent around $10 per day advertising my two listings which I sold for around $2 each. Not a very wise decision, but I had to rush to achieve this goal of becoming a star seller quickly. On the 21st of December, I made my first sale finally, which was very exciting. But after that, nothing much happened. Despite making three more calendars and spending some money on ads, I only got on average one sale per day, which was very disappointing. But like a Christmas miracle, on the 25th of December, I received a message from someone asking me if there was a Sunday start version of my cat calendar. After a quick Google search, I discovered that in the USA, the norm is to sell calendars that start from Sunday, not from Monday, which was what I was offering at the time. Unknowingly, I was leaving out the most popular market for printables. So I quickly started adjusting some of my calendars to include a Sunday start version as well. And long and behold, in just three days, my sales increased by 700%, which sounds exciting until you realize that I simply went from selling one calendar per day to seven calendars per day. <laughs> Jokes aside, if I waited to publish my calendars, like Etsy suggested, I would have never known about this very crucial detail, which would have caused me to miss a lot of seasonal sales. At this point, I'm halfway there to becoming a star seller. My next target was to get some positive reviews, which would also help in increasing my overall sales revenue and achieving the fourth target as well. Since I've already made a few sales, I've decided to send personalized messages to all my customers to thank them for their purchase, ask them if there is a problem with their calendar, in which case I would fix it immediately, and finally politely ask for a review regarding their purchase. Surprisingly enough, about a third of my customers responded, all with a 5 star review, which was very exciting news for me. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful to those people, because I know for a fact that these reviews are going to help my store get more sales in the long run. On January 1st, I stopped advertising on Etsy to see whether my listings were going to attract any organic traffic to the store. And this caused my sales to decrease, but I was still getting around two or three sales per day, which is good enough for now. Today is January the 4th, and although I still have two weeks to complete the challenge, unfortunately, I do not think that my sales revenue is going to increase by that much in the next couple of weeks, to hit the fourth target. Because my products are calendars, which are seasonal products, so I expect the sales for calendars to decrease dramatically over the next week. Also, I just discovered that in order for us to receive the star seller badge, 90 days need to pass from the date we have made our first sale, which is a bummer if you ask me. Nevertheless, I think this experiment has been extremely successful. In just two weeks, we went from nothing to having a store with 44 sales, 12 five-star reviews, 10 followers, and $94 in revenue. And we are this close to becoming a star seller as well. I believe that the hardest step is behind us. Because we now have a store with some sales and some credibility with only 5 star reviews, which is something that is going to make our lives a lot easier in the future when it comes to selling new products. So the next step is to turn this store into a sustainable and profitable business. In the future, I will continue using data to illuminate this market and make more educated decisions when it comes to my store. I will also further incorporate AI tools into my store process and the entire business I'm trying to build. Alright, so we have our first entry to the portfolio of hassles. On this portfolio, we are going to be adding all the side hassles and potential businesses we experiment with that are part of this 
grander project that we are on, which has the main goal of turning $10,000 into $10 million using data science and artificial intelligence. I'll also keep you updated regarding the balance of this project with every new video I make. If you are interested in following this journey and being part of this ambitious project, just hit like on this video and subscribe to stay updated and stay part of the community because it's going to be something you want to be part of in the near future. Trust me. Alright, so that's all for today. I'll see you when I see you and okay, bye.